that uh, you have not received any plea offer, if you will, from the state in regards to the waiver of the preliminary hearing today, that instead it's anticipated that your attorney, Mr. Cafferty, will conduct future negotiations with the state um, at, at this point or sometime in the future. Is that your understanding as well of the status of your case, sir? Yes, sir. All right. Now, uh, have you had enough time to discuss with your attorney, Mr. Cafferty, at this point, the status of this case? Yes. And did he answer to your satisfaction, sir, any and all questions that you might have had regarding your case status? Yes, sir. Okay. Also, uh, Mr. Blake, have you had enough time to discuss, Mr. Cafferty, the waiver of the preliminary hearing and the impact that will have on your case? Yes, sir. And once again, did Mr. Cafferty answer any and all questions that you might have had, Mr. Blake, in regarding the waiver of the preliminary hearing and its impact on your case? Correct, sir. All right. Correct. Now, you understand, uh, Mr. Blake, that you did have the right to have the preliminary hearing held if you'd wanted the hearing to be held? Yes, sir. Okay. But you also have the right to waive the preliminary hearing, and that's what I understand you wish to do today. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, you understand that a preliminary hearing is not a trial. Instead, it's one step in your case proceedings? Yes, sir. All right. But when you do waive your right to the preliminary hearing, sir, uh, please understand that that's a permanent waiver, which means that once the hearing has been waived, you may not come back before this court or any other court seeking to have another preliminary hearing. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. But Mr. Blake, even though you're waiving your right to the preliminary hearing uh, this afternoon, sir, Please also understand that you still have a right to have a trial in your case if you wish to have a trial. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Now, also today, when you do waive your right to the preliminary hearing, uh, this court is going to bind your case over uh, for further case proceedings after making findings that probable cause exists that a felony was committed and further probable cause exists to believe that you committed that felony. The case will then be bound over before the Circuit Court of Kenosha County for further proceedings. Do you understand that as well? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, do you understand everything I've just explained to you, questioned you about or discussed with you so far? Yes. All yes, right. Sir. Do you have any questions for me, Mr. Blake? Not at the moment. No, I don't. All right. Well, if you have a question for me, you make sure you ask it. Don't feel like you can't ask me a question, all right? Okay. All right. Just a few more questions then, Mr. Blake. Now, uh, again, at this point, uh, you, there's been no offer or some type of incentive given to you that I'm not aware of. Is that correct? Yes, correct, sir. All right. Did anyone threaten, force, or coerce you, sir, to get you to waive your right to the preliminary hearing? No, sir. All right. Now, I also have a document here that's uh, entitled Waiver of Right to Preliminary Hearing, and Mr. Cafferty has signed it, and uh, he, a minute ago on the record, indicated that he had reviewed a document, uh, this document, rather, the Waiver of Right to Preliminary Hearing with you uh, just recently. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Yes. Now, um, in regards to that document, did Mr. Cafferty answer any and all questions you might have had regarding the document? No, sir. And do you have any questions for me about the document? No, sir. Okay. And the uh, boxes are checked on the document answering questions on the document. Are those answers, uh, sir, all true and accurate? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Now, sir, in regards to uh, your preliminary hearing, at this point, are you uh, asking this court to accept the waiver of your preliminary hearing today? Yes. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Blake. That'll conclude my questioning. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Mr. Cafferty, any reason why the court should not accept the waiver? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Wiedenfeld? No. All right. Thank you. And the court will find that Mr. Blake, the defendant, has freely, voluntarily, knowingly, and with the advice of competent counsel, waived the defendant's right to the preliminary hearing. The waiver is accepted. And the court does find in this case that probable cause exists that a felony was committed, and further probable cause exists to believe that this defendant committed that felony. Therefore, this matter is bound over before the Kenosha County Circuit Court, before the Honorable Bruce E. Schrader presiding. Now, I also have an information which has been filed, uh, so we may move to arraignment. Mr. Cafferty, uh, on behalf of Mr. Blake, have you received a copy of the information? Yes, I'll acknowledge receipt. I'll waive its reading, and I will enter pleas of not guilty to all three charges. All right, thank you. Not guilty, please are noted and entered for the record, and the matter shall now be counted for further proceedings uh, before Judge Schrader. And again, uh, the previously imposed bond conditions obviously will remain in full force in effect. Anything further at this point, once after, uh, otherwise I'll turn it over to Madam Clerk to provide dates, unless you've already received those. Nothing else from the defense, Chair. Just, Just whether there was a speedy demand for trial? 
Uh, there has not been at this point, no. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Hey, pre-trial conference with Judge Schrader, October the 21st at 1.30. Yes. Jury selection is November 9th at 9 o'clock. That works just Thank fine. You. Thank you. And then as a practical matter, uh, will the court authorize me to collect the bond from the clerk's office and bring it to Mr. Blake to have him sign it and then return it to the court? We, we can do it one of two ways. And I was just going to talk about that in a second here. Uh, thank you for bringing it up. Um, we can do it electronically. It could be, at, at this point, it could be emailed, uh, for example, to your office, it, then download the document and have the document physically signed by Mr. Blake, not electronically signed, and then have it uploaded and transmitted back uh, to the uh, clerk's office, if that works. Otherwise, you could... The, uh, the way you described as well would work. It's up to you, Mr. Caffrey, which way you wish to do it. If uh, Janelle will please email that to me, I'll take care of it, Judge. All right, thank you. That, uh, please uh, have that completed. Uh, well, would you be able to have that completed by, let's say, the uh, 4 p.m. on the 11th? Yes. Okay, great, thank you so much. Thank you, that concludes this hearing. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone. Bye-bye. Oh. Janelle, do I need to log into the, uh, a different Zoom session for the rest? No, you're fine here. Thank you. Thank you.